Uh, Derek Gatherer is a virologist at Lancaster University in the UK and joins us now from there live. So, uh, Derek, countries are working on detection kits. There are plans to re-engineer the mosquito. I mean, what's the best way of dealing with the Zika virus? At the moment, probably the, the best way is to fumigate to kill the mosquitoes until we have um, new technologies such as the genetically engineered mosquitoes in your report that are reliably working. Uh, we still have to, to go back to the old way of doing it, which is simply to uh, poison as many mosquitoes as, as possible and uh, to remove their breeding places at pools of water, uh, water barrels, communal wells and so on. Uh, as well as the technology mentioned in your report, there are two other uh, new mosquito technologies that have been developed. One of them is a genetically engineered sterile male which produces offspring that don't survive, thereby reducing the next generation of mosquitoes in the population. And another one uses a parasite called Wolbachia, which actually attacks the mosquito and also re uh, reduces its reproductive capacity. So there's a variety of these new mosquito-targeted technologies which may be available in the next few years, but for the moment we're still using old-fashioned uh, insecticide. Uh, and, and Derek, I mean, those kind of technologies to tackle the mosquito, haven't they, they been around for a while or haven't they been worked on for a while to deal with things like dengue and, uh, and, um, and malaria? Yes, that, that's right. The um, genetically modified sterile male trial um, commenced in Brazil uh, uh, about 18 months ago, so that, that is currently ongoing. Um, many of these technologies have had lots of technical hurdles to get over, but they seem to be reaching the point now where they, where they are finally maturing. Um, one disadvantage that we have to bear in mind, though, is that they're, they're almost all exclusively targeted towards Aedes aegypti. So consequently, wh whatever we do uh, to, to the mosquitoes using those technologies will only affect one species. So we're sort of working on the assumption that Aedes aegypti is the major vector for Zika transmission uh, in South America. And it may well be that other species of mosquito are involved, particularly Aedes albopictus, uh, uh, which wouldn't be affected by any genetic modification on Aedes aegypti. So it, it might be that although they would help to reduce the problem by getting rid of one of the potential vectors or reducing the numbers of one of the potential vectors, we would still be forced to use traditional fumigation methods to remove the other vector Aedes albopictus. Well, uh, Derek Gatherer, thank you very much for joining us.